Hi everybody, it's AJ with Hippie Fertilizing, and guess what, I'm so excited, we finally have hippie juice. People have been asking, I've been dreaming, and stuff comes to reality. Hippie juice. And I get asked often, often now, okay, now that you got it, how do we use it? Very good question. So, what I like to personally use is a chameleon sprayer. They're very inexpensive. You can find them at you know, your Biggs box stores. I think they even have them at HEB. Uh, very easy to use. They can handle a thicker solution than other sprayers out there. So, here's what I recommend doing. And I also like it because if you see this little uh, yellow piece on here, you can hook it up to gallon size bottles. Right? And it even comes with a lovely instructional booklet. I've never read it though. Don't care to. But what I do like is this is for those gallon sized bottles. You can switch these tubes out and uh, in case you want to have a bigger bottle, make a bigger batch, what have you. So, but today I want to show you the what I want to recommend to start with. Okay? They have milliliters and ounces. I don't do anything with milliliters, so I'm going to recommend the ounces, okay? Uh, we have, it starts at four, so that's what I want you to start at, okay? Just four ounces. Yeah, that's it. It's a great place to start, because just like with anything, even though it's natural, safe, and organic, uh, you can always add more, but you can't take it away, and why use more than you need, right? So, Give this a little shaky shake. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna also do something a little crazy, all right? Let's see here. Oh, I got six ounces. Guess what? That's okay. Put a little bit of that in my coffee, too. I really don't recommend y'all to do that. But it's okay. It's safe. Now again, I don't recommend doing that, okay? But doing that for demonstration purposes. That's right. I just drank my own hippie juice. So we put this bad boy on here. Or actually, what I like about this too is it comes with a, a little piece, a little adapter, boom, usually works better if the water is off, uh, got that on there, so now that we have that on there, fill it up the rest of the way with water. Now here, on the top you have a dial and it starts at off one tablespoon all the way up to an eight ounce setting eight ounce setting will empty this in moments is that okay absolutely but again our goal is to really maximize uh, our product and get the best use out of it right so we are going to start today on the four ounce setting Put this bad boy on here. Now mind you, I have a 100 gallon tank on my truck. That's what I'm used to using. But before I had that tank, this is the bad boy I started out with. So again, four ounce setting. I, ha I did say four ounces, I did put six ounces in here, and we're gonna spray the grass. We're gonna let the juice loose, dudes. So, oh, oh yeah, so, and I don't know if this is visible in the video, but you can see the coloration, right? It's a very light color. Now, I'm gonna set the setting up, I'm gonna set it all the way to the eight inch setting. See how it got a little darker? If, again, I don't know if that's visible in the video, but the solution did get darker. 
What I like, I just put in a peach tree. Has three settings on there. Soak that peach tree down. Some little plants I ripped apart earlier this year. And one of my very favorites, a Duranta. We also have a fan setting. This one's really great for covering the lawn. And uh, please excuse my biodiversity. I'm really not that picky about weeds, but I am picky about how I feed my soil. And we just did a top dressing yesterday in my lawn. So we're up in the hippie juice game on this grass over here. But anyway, thank you for watching. That is a quick instructional video on how you would want to start mixing up your hippie juice. Thank you very much, and y'all have a groovy day. Remember, nobody knows grass like a hippie.